A recall by General Motors is facing new scrutiny this morning. A congressional committee announced it will hold hearings into GM's response to faulty ignition switches. Last month, the automaker recalled 1.6 million vehicles after several deadly crashes. As Jeff Gore reports, the company knew about the problem for a decade. Jeff, good morning. Charlie, good morning to you. This is the House Energy and Commerce Committee led by Michigan Republican Fred Upton. What they'll be exploring, why did GM announce these recalls in 2014 when they first knew about a problem with ignition switches in many compact cars in 2004? This will likely involve hearing from both GM and NHTSA, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, appearing before Congress. GM's new CEO, Mary Barra, has promised an unvarnished review. So one big question this morning, will she testify before Congress now that she says she's leading this recall? Barra, who has been with GM for more than 30 years, says she just learned of the ignition issue a few weeks ago. GM says 13 deaths and 31 crashes are linked to the problem, but there are many more complaints and there are questions about whether other deaths beyond the 13 are connected. Uh, Nora, Charlie, what you have here is an ignition switch that can go for various reasons from the on position to the off or accessory position, meaning the car has no power steering, no power brakes, and if it crashes, the airbags do not go off. And now Congress is on yeah. board. Thank a, big, you. a big challenge for the new CEO. Yep. Yeah. Jeff, thank you. Okay.